because on Friday, we actually got a very big piece of college basketball recruiting news. For people who don't follow this, and I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you probably know a little bit about what's going on. But Boogie Flan, widely regarded as the top combo guard in all of high school basketball, just moments ago made his college commitment. For people who haven't seen him, six foot three guard, again, out of New York. And over the last couple of days, he had announced that he had narrowed his list down to three schools, Alabama, Indiana, and the University of Kentucky. I bring it up because just moments ago, Boogie Flan made his official announcement and drum roll, please. Boogie Flan is headed to the University of Kentucky. That is right. John Calipari does it again, gets his first five star in the class of 2024 and his second commitment overall. Let's get into it. Let's dive into it. Uh, yeah, I just got a lot I want to get off my chest here about this because I love the player. I love the commitment. I love the fit. Love everything about it. A couple things stand out. One, I just love Boogie Flan's game. Okay. As I said, six foot three combo guard, but basically gives you everything that you want out of that position. Super quick, quick twitch, very athletic, three level scorer, can get to the rim, can finish at the rim. The thing that I love about him, super competitive kid, right? Because there are times where you have a five star talent that you're recruiting. They don't always have that five-star character, five-star heart. And I know I sound like a, a, a sports coaching recruiting cliche, but the thing I love about Flan, he goes hard all the time, constantly. Um, you know, he was at a, a team USA event a few weekends ago. Everybody that was there raved at how competitive he was, how tough he was. Um, and bluntly like one, it's just a great trait to have, but then two beyond that, that is something that you need at Kentucky beyond that. Let's say this really quick credit to Kentucky. This was a guy that early on they identified as one of their key guys that they wanted in the class of 2024. Um, you know, there was talk in the summer, of, you know, things cooling, things heating back up, but they identified him early. They got in early and they ultimately got the guy. But more importantly, I just love the player and the fit for this specific player again in this specific program, especially at this specific moment in time. Don't think anybody watching needs me to tell you, but obviously, look, over the last couple of years, Kentucky hasn't been Kentucky. And one of the big problems that everybody talks about, and I think it's fair. Thank you, everybody, as always, for your support of the Aaron Torres Pod and Aaron Torres Pod YouTube channel. And we have a major announcement as legal sports betting is now in the state of Kentucky. That is right. The Aaron Torres Pod and Aaron Torres Pod YouTube has partnered with DraftKings Sportsbook and the DraftKings Sportsbook app. And here is the best part. DraftKings has an incredible offer for listeners of the Aaron Torres pod who are first-time customers with DraftKings. This is the deal. Here's what you need to know. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet $5 on any game, just $5, and you get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you use the promo code Torres. That's right. It's that simple. Again, first-time customers, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet $5 on any game. Pro, college, any sport you want, and get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you use the code Taurus. Thank you to our new partners, DraftKings Sportsbook. Thrilled to be working with them. Take advantage of their offer now. John Calipari's best teams are when he has that elite, elite, elite NBA caliber difference-making point guard, okay? And Boogie's kind of a combo guard, but you get the point. Ball in his hands guy that can get to the rim, guy that can score for himself, guy that can create for others. He had it with Derrick Rose and Tyreek Evans at, at Memphis. He had it with John Wall, De'Aaron Fox, Tyler Eulis at Kentucky. And when he has had his best teams, he has had that dude. And the last couple of years, he has clearly not had that guy. Now, part of it, stuff out of his control. You don't need me to mention the name that that shall remain nameless, the guy that that showed up for a few months, never played and left. But at the same time, you can see the impact that it has had on Kentucky. Well, last season, during during the season, you know, the 2023 recruiting cycle, Calipari addressed this, went and got DJ Wagner, went and got Rob Dillingham, and they have those kind of dudes for their team and for their roster this year. And in their overseas trip, you could see the impact that it has on this team and this roster when they have that kind of dude at point guard. Opens up the floor for everybody, creates spacing for everybody, creates, th uh, you know, uh, wide open three pointers. And Calipari has recommitted over the last probably 18 months to getting back to the system that has made him successful. Now, listen, not all of it's his fault. Again, 
part of it, by the way, was you have Oscar Shibwe. He's an All-American. It's hard to tell him to leave when he's coming off of a National Player of the Year type season. But I just bring it up because Calipari has said publicly, like, like, we need to get back to who we were when we had the highest levels of success. By the way, it was something that he talked about at SEC Media Day earlier this week on Wednesday. He said, I know that this hasn't been the standard that we've had at Kentucky, and they haven't looked like Kentucky teams, and we need to get back to that. Well, he did it in last year's recruiting class with DJ Wagner, Rob Dillingham, Justin Edwards, Aaron Bradshaw, and now he has started off this class very much the same. And so I love having Boogie Fland as a foundational piece in this class. It is worth noting, by the way, uh, they have a a four-star big man named Santo Cyril committed Really like him. He's kind of that tough enforcer guy, probably a two, three, four year college player. And I like how Boogie Fland could potentially fit with guys on this current roster a year from now. Now, you always want to be careful over speculating or speculating on who might be on a college basketball team a year from now. But it feels pretty safe to assume Reed Shepard, four star guard, who I think is going to be better than people realize. He's going to be at Kentucky next year. There's a good possibility Rob Dillingham will be at Kentucky next year as well, depending. I don't know if he's a one and done, but we know how these things go. I bring it up because if you have those two with Reed Shepard or those three with Shepard and Dillingham, that is a heck of a backcourt and a heck of a start to 2024, 2025. And then what I would say is this. I don't know how aggressive Cal is going to be in this 2024 recruiting class, but there's still a lot of big fish out there. Carter Knox, brother of Kevin Knox, everybody knows five-star from Tampa. He's playing at one of the prep school or he's playing at overtime elite. Excuse me. Um, Listen, I think if he plays college ball, it's going to be probably Kentucky. I know Louisville's in the mix with Kenny Payne, but we know how things are going at Louisville. I don't buy that. He will end up there. Um, Jaden Quaintance, five-star center, really, really athletic skilled kid, uh, basically down to Kentucky, Missouri, professional options. If he comes to college basketball, you got to feel good about Kentucky's position with him. There are a couple other guys, Patrick and Bonga, et cetera. But then I also think it's worth noting a few other things with Kentucky. One, I expect them to be much more aggressive in the portal next cycle. This year, it was kind of a weird thing with NIL. Are they, you know, are they going all in on NIL? Are they going all in with the collective model? Are they selling, hey, you know, come here and these could be the opportunities? Or are they just all in? Well, I think over the last probably six to eight months, they've gotten the collective stuff figured out. They are not going to back down from anybody there. And then I think the guy that we've talked about a lot over the last couple of weeks, Zvonaviri Visic, that guy is going to be on campus this year. But even if he's gone, it has opened up a whole new avenue of recruiting overseas for Kentucky. And so I think it's really hard to speculate what it looks like. But one thing about John Calipari, you know, he's every year going to have a team good enough to win the national championship. And I'm already excited talking about the 2024-2025 roster with Boogie Flan. We'll see how all the other pieces fit, who stays, who goes, international players, transfers, five stars in the class of 2024. But this is a key foundational piece for John Calipari to have. Could not be more excited to watch this kid play college basketball a year from now.